Hello everyone, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you the very first thrift haul of the season. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that during the summer I post garage sale hauls and during the winter I do thrift hauls. So today is kind of like the official transition over from the garage sale hauls to the thrift hauls. I'm so excited to be sharing with you thrift haul number 14. If you haven't seen the rest of my thrift hauls, I will link them in a card above. During the winter to get my thrifting fix, I love to go to the Salvation Army, the Goodwill, local thrift stores, consignment stores, but usually the main place that I go is the Salvation Army. I apologize for the up and down with the lighting. Right now it's partly cloudy outside and I heavily rely on the sun for my lighting, so as you can see, it is getting kind of dark right now. If you guys notice, I am wearing the outfit that I wore, I think on Thursday, on my thrifted teacher outfits of the day that I post on Instagram, and it is so cute. Uh, let me share it with you really quickly. I'm gonna share this top with you because it's super, super adorable. It is this cute little manatee in like a little rowboat. Isn't that so cute? And I'm wearing this cardigan that I got forever ago and I actually gave it to someone and I asked to borrow it and they said I could borrow it. And then I have this really cute button down skirt and this brown belt. So I just love my outfit, but you guys can't see the whole thing. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so let's just jump into the haul. The first thing I wanna share with you guys is this book, Broken Piggy Bank, and it was only 20 29 cents at the Salvation Army. I had never heard of this story uh, from the Berenstain Bears before, so I was excited to find it. Pretty much I'm assuming it's about a broken piggy bank. Um, and I'm trying to find like a date of when, 1992. So, I mean, it's older, it's not super old, um, but I really like it. I love Berenstain Bears and I have a whole collection in my classroom. And I know that when Sean and I have children, I'm probably gonna take that whole collection and bring it home for our kids because I just love the Berenstain Bears. So, this was only 29 cents. The next thing that I got at the Salvation Army is this super cute wallet. It was $3.99, but I'm pretty sure it was half off. And I am in desperate need of a new wallet, so I'm so excited that I found this. My other wallet, like, is literally falling apart. I really like this wallet because it has all of these different sections but I also really like how it's kind of cool it has I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it it has writing on it like I don't know can you really see it kind of it's not picking up super well like it says credit cards coupons receipts cash and coin uh, and a checkbook so it just kind of like tells you where to put things so I'm excited for that and I'm also excited that it zips completely because I'm always afraid things are gonna fall out and I feel like there's definitely room in this for my phone too the next thing that I found I actually didn't find at the Salvation Army I got it at a local thrift shop and I think it's so cute I got this cute little cover for like pastries or for desserts or for really anything um, that I'm really excited about I think it'd be really cute to have a plate like a really beautiful plate and then put pastries on it and then just set this right on top. I think that would be really pretty. Um, it was only $2, I don't know if you guys can see that. It was only $2 at this thrift store, which I think is great. I'm assuming it probably had something underneath it. It had like a matching piece, but I definitely don't need that matching piece. I can definitely use this top in other ways. I'm so excited to have it in our home for parties or for just decorating and um, displaying things nicely in our kitchen. So for two bucks, I thought that was a great deal. Everything else that I'm going to share with you today is either an article, clothing, or shoes. I got these really cute shoes. I will just show you one. Uh, they are these beautiful shoes. They are from the brand Ellen... Ellen Tracy and they are size 7 because that's my shoe size. Sometimes I'm a 6.5, sometimes I'm a 7 and they have a tiny little bit of a heel but I love the pink color. It's like a blush color with this gold. It's kind of hard to tell but it is a gold point on the toe and I absolutely love these. I think these will look really cute in the spring and in the summer so I'm probably just going to put these upstairs and then I'm going to wait to wear them until the spring. And these shoes were only $2. Next pair of shoes that I found are these super beautiful black and white flats and I'll just show you the one they were only $2.99 and they are from the brand can't, I can't tell there's no marking on them so unfortunately I do not know the brand but I just love these shoes I mean seriously look at how cute these are these are so adorable it's like on a canvas material too and I love the bow on the top they fit me perfectly and they were only $2.99 so you seriously can't beat that and I found something to get me ready for Halloween next year if you watched my video that I posted recently of my Halloween costume that I wore to school I was a gumball machine this year for school but I really wanted to be Cinderella because Cinderella is my favorite princess and I love being a princess 
so I really really wanted to be Cinderella and I wasn't able to get the costume ready in time so these shoes will be for my Cinderella costume next year as you can see right now they are just this plain taupe heel and then they have like a little bit of a cut out here and they're pointy and they actually have a pretty small heel so I'm excited to have these because I'm going to take them and I'm going to put rhinestones all over them because I want to look like Cinderella and these are going to be my glass slippers next year I'm so excited about this costume so the tag says that they were $7.99 but I actually got them for four dollars because they were half off and I love them I can't wait to put rhinestones all over them and wear them as Cinderella next year to school the last pair of shoes that I would like to share with you I have worn several times this week and if you follow me on Instagram and you see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day you might have already seen them but they are these super fun boots I am currently obsessed with these boots. I absolutely love them. They are this faux suede material, and they're actually the No Boundaries brand, which I know is uh, the Walmart brand, but they are seriously such good quality. Like, listen, you hear like how hard the heels are? Like, they're really, really good. The tread is great. The, the shoes still have a lot of tread. They're super comfortable. The only thing is that they are kind of loud. I love these boots. They are so comfortable. They hit me at just the right length, and I just think they're so cute for the winter and for the fall. These boots were a little more than I usually like to spend on thrifted items. They were $5. Now, I would like to share with you all of the clothing that I got at the thrift store. The first piece I found is this super cute navy and white gingham shirt. I love gingham. I think it's so sweet. I can't wait to wear this. I have the cute cutest outfit planned out for this. I feel that the gingham pattern can really give like a casual rustic kind of feel and like just a casual chic look. I feel like you can also look really dressed up and really put together when you're wearing gingham. So I got this navy and white gingham top and it is the Morona brand which is Target and I absolutely love this top. I just picked it up today and it was $3.99 but I believe that it was half off today so it was only $2. I love this top and I can't wait to wear it with boots and jeans and I think it'll look so cute. The next piece I also got at the Salvation Army and I've already taken the price tag off of it because I wore it, almost wore it earlier this week but then I decided not to. It was two. 99 and so I love this piece it is from the brand max studio and it is just this uh, black and like cream colored top and it has the elastic band at the bottom and on the arms and for some reason I really like tops like that I'm excited to wear it with jeans or with a skirt um, a denim skirt I have a super cute denim skirt that I'm gonna show you guys and I really like this piece and I think it'll look great in my wardrobe uh, as I said before I love navy and there's another navy piece in this haul this is a really pretty navy top it's made out of a couple different materials which I think is kind of fun like this material right here feels kind of like linen but then on the back it's definitely like this part right here is definitely like a stretch cotton um, like a knit type material and I love how on the back it has pleating if you can see that the brand is Pleione, I think Pleione, P-L-E-I-O-N-E -E. and um, I think it's really really cute um, it's kind of longer it's like a more drapey type top as I said that I love those tops this one was all this one was $2.99 I think it's such a great piece and I actually wore it earlier this week I actually think I wore it in my Aldi haul video that I'll link above in case you'd like to see that I wore it with a gold necklace that I got at a garage sale and I just think it looks really pretty I really like how navy and gold look together so I love this top and I can't wait to incorporate it in my wardrobe then I got just a plain black top really not a whole lot to say about this just a plain black long sleeve top. I've been finding that I have been wishing I had a black long sleeve top more often in my wardrobe. And so when I was at the thrift shop, and so when I was at the Salvation Army today, I decided to just find one and pick it up. It was $2.99, but it was half off, so it was $1.50. And as I said, not really a whole lot to say about it, just a plain black top. And then I got this really pretty olive like dress long shirt type thing. Let me share it with you. So it's a button down and it has a really pretty collar. So it's a button down and it has a really pretty collar right there. And then it just goes all the way down, keeps on going. As you can see, it's super, super long. It hits me about, mm, I say probably about five inches below my knee. Um, and so I was thinking about wearing it with black tights and with actually that black top underneath, um, just to make it a little warmer for the winter. And I think it's really fun. This piece was $5.99, I believe. I was going to wear it earlier this week, and then I wanted the black top, and I didn't have it, so I wasn't able to wear it. So I really like it, and it looks super cute with those uh, suede boots that I have. 
so I'm really excited that I found this as well. Then I found this really beautiful dark green sweater dress, and it's kind of hard to tell in this light because the lighting is really weird right now, but it is this Old Navy sweater dress. It was $6.99. It was hanging with the dresses, I'm pretty sure, um, and I think it's so fun. It's pretty long on me. It hits me probably right at my knees, but I've always really loved green, um, and I love the green. Green has always been one of my favorite colors, but blue is definitely my favorite color. The last piece might be a little silly. I really want to go back to Disney World. So the last piece is me kind of like saying, hey, let's go back to Disney. Uh, Sean's gonna see it and know exactly why I bought it. And it's this really cute shirt that has all of like the main characters. It has uh, Donald and Mickey and Minnie and Daisy and Goofy um, and Pluto and it, um, it's supposed to look like it's like notes written back and forth. It's supposed to be like in a handwritten font. I'm hoping that someday soon I'll be wearing this on an airplane heading to Disney um, and I just think that would be so fun wear it with like uh, like a white sweater or something like that and just a comfy pair of jeans and some sandals. Oh, I want to go back to Disney World. I know, I have to save and we have to not just jump right into it, but I can't wait until we can go. Well, that's it for thrift haul number 14. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to share some really exciting news with you guys, and that is that I was named one of the top 10 thrifting bloggers for 2016 by GASLR.com, which is the garage sales by map.com website, which is a website that helps you find garage sales, but also is a place where you can post a sale that you're having. This is such an honor for me. I work so hard to share this with you guys because I truly have a passion for buying things thrifted, and I truly have a passion with sharing all of these awesome finds with you guys. Thank you, GASLR.com for honoring me. This is such a huge honor. I can't thank you enough for honoring me in this way and for the write-up that you did about my YouTube channel and about my blog. So thank you so much. I am truly honored. If you guys would like to see the top 10 thrifting bloggers for 2016 and see the write-up that they did about me and my YouTube channel and my blog, you can check me out on Facebook. So follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living. I have sure. Follow me on Facebook at Thrifted Living. I have shared the link to the blog where I was listed as one of the top 10 thrifting bloggers. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram where you can see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!